Hey guys, Mr. Key here, and MTN kicked off the pilot stage of the 5G network and a lot of people have had many questions like is it really that fast? Will it suck all my data? How is the router like? Is 5G for everyone? And so many other questions and in this video I'm going to be answering all the top questions so let's get right into it shall we? Now before I delve into the questions let me touch on 5G a bit right? So 5G as we know it actually has three types of bandwidth. There's the MM wave, which is a high band 5G. It offers like the highest speed possible on 5G. And by that I'm talking over one gig per second and above. It's something similar to what MKBHD showed off in this video. Now the second type is the mid band 5G. Now this is also quite fast, right? But it obviously cannot be compared to the MM wave. And finally, there's the low band 5G, which is pretty much a glorified 4G LTE. Now, it is only slightly faster than the regular 4G, but it carries the 5G tag, right? Now, with that said, let's kick off with the first question, which is, is the 5G from MTN really fast? And the answer is, yeah, it is actually fast. I'm talking downloading a 2.5 gig file in less than three minutes. But bear in mind that there are not so many people using um, the 5G network right now. So the results might vary when this eventually happens. Now, if you were to ask me, I'd say that at the moment, MTN is probably using the MM wave or the mid-band 5G. And the reason why I'm saying this is because of the results I'm getting. So in my location, which is the Ikeja part of Lagos, I was able to get an average speed of 700 Mbps. And sometimes it could go up to one gig per second. Yeah. The only thing I noticed is that the upload speed did not really get like a major boost in speed. So for a bit of context here, yeah, I uploaded a one gig file on YouTube in 30 minutes on 5G and 34 minutes on 4G. Now I'm sure a lot of people might be wondering if 5G is going to, you know, suck all of your data for lack of a better word. And the truth is it could. So here's the thing. A 20 gig file downloaded will still consume the same amount of data whether you are on 5G or 4G, albeit at you know different speed levels. But because some of these platforms like you know Netflix will actually deliver the content to you based on the quality of your network, you might end up streaming way more data on a 5G network than a 4G network. Now this begs the question of is 5G for everyone? And the answer is no. So if you only use, you know, WhatsApp, Instagram, YouTube, and the likes, then 5G might be a lot for you. Because on one hand, you might experience a major increase in speed and quality of videos you watch on these platforms. But on the other hand, you're going to also experience a huge drain in data. And this is obviously due to the increase in quality. However, if you download a lot online, you use cloud, services a lot you know you do a lot of video calls and all of that then you need 5g because it would literally change the way you use the internet no cap all right let's talk about you know um, the devices that can actually use 5g right now and according to mtn 5g devices from xiaomi infinix techno huawei and even nokia can all access 5G right now. Meanwhile, MTN is saying that 5G phones from Samsung and Apple will be added to the list before the end of the year. Now, if you own these devices as the iPhone and Samsung and you can't wait, you could actually pre-order one of these. So this is a 5G router from MTN. It is actually the best when it comes to getting even the weakest 5G signal around, right? And for those wondering, it does not come with an inbuilt battery. So it would always need to be plugged to a power source. However, MTN says that they're planning to get backup batteries that could help supplement this so that you can use the router for a couple of hours even when it's not plugged to light. Now, can the modem work even when there's no 5G? And the answer is yes, it can. Now, when there's no 5G network, the fault light, that's the network light, actually shows blue as opposed to white. And at this mode, you can still use it to access the internet, but the speed would be at 4G instead of 5G. And yeah, you can connect this to up to 32 devices devices at the same time. Now, one feature I like with this router from MTN is that it gives you suggestions on where you can, you know, position the router to find the best network in your house. Anyways, this is currently selling for 50,000 Naira and it's available in three colors. Also, if you get one of this, you'd actually get 100 gig bonus data attached to it. 
But yeah, speaking of data, I'm sure you all know that because of the faster speed and increase in quality, 5G would require more data, right? But at the moment, there are no specific data plans for 5G. However, if you visit mtn.nga slash router plans, you can actually use one of the plans that have been listed for the 5G router. But if you're using a 5G device, then this will not be perfect for you. What you need to do is visit mtn.ng slash data plans to see which of the data plans would work for your 5G device. But I reckon that you might need nothing less than 100 gig and above to be able to enjoy 5G at least in a month, right? So buying 2 gig data, for example, will not cut it on 5G. Yeah, and this brings me to the last question. Is the 5G network from MTN available in all states? And currently, it is not. For the pilot stage, MTN has made 5G accessible in six states in the country. Drop a comment if your state is among. Now, for a bit of context so that you can understand how this thing works, rumors have it that it actually costs this much to set up one 5G base station. Anyways, you already know <laughs> I'm going to ask you what you think about the 5G speed from MTN. Are you impressed by the results? And would you be willing to make the switch to 5G based on your current internet needs? Let me know. And if you like this video, don't forget to share it to others. And I'll See you in the next one. Take care.